All right, what's up everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's second blog. Here to give you a scout report on Mike Evans, the wide receiver from Texas A&M. Now headed towards this draft, I personally believe that he had a chance to become the number one receiver headed towards this draft over my number one guy, Sammy Watkins out of Clemson. Due to the fact is that he could become a good physical specimen at the next level. He weighs 225 pounds at 6 foot 5 and he is just 20 years old, which means he has a little bit of time to grow a little bit more and I thought he could be a good size, a big, good behemoth type receiver in the National Football League and had a chance to outperform Sammy Watkins. But due to his performance at the draft combine, I'm a little bit skeptical about him but he's still within my top five receivers overall. Here to quickly give you a quick little bio about him. He was a two sports star coming out of Gladison, Texas. He averaged 18 points per game and 8.4 rebounds in basketball while he was a stud in football before becoming a Texas A M Aggie. Now he was registered back in 2011 and in 2012 along with his star quarterback Johnny Manziel, they both became great players and great stars. He had a breakout season, 1,105 yards receiving on 82 receptions. And, and in this past season, he was actually a Belitnikoff Award finalist where he broke a school record 1,322 yards receiving and 12 touchdowns, breaking um, Ryan Swope's record of just of over 1,200 yards receiving. He had a great career for, for these past two seasons for the Aggies. And I think he'd become a good dominant receiver in the next level. Now, talking about his draft status... And at the scout combine, he ran a 4-5-3-40, which is pretty good. I wish he was just a little bit fat faster, but only had 12 reps at 225 pounds. And the man of his size, I just wish he was just a little bit stronger. So his strength was in was in question. And I think he could perform, he could have performed a little bit better than that, in my opinion. Now I still think he's a great athlete and he has good long strides, but he needs to work on his initial burst coming off the line of scrimmage when the snap is played. And I think he just needs to work on that. Get, get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker because he's going to be playing it against some nifty um, cornerbacks in the National Football League. Now, I do love his size. I already mentioned it. He has the uh, he has the skills and the and, and the height to um, out jump and out box a lot of these um, cornerbacks in this National Football League, and he can actually catch you a lot of passes, and he depends more on his body and his physicality to outplay these cornerbacks, and this is not the same between the cornerbacks in, 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 in the NFL compared to the cornerbacks in college, so he needs to work on his separation. That is one weakness he just needs to work on. A lot of his catches, he didn't, wasn't really had too much separation between him and the cornerbacks. And he's going to be struggling a lot. He just needs to increase that speed burst and his separation. But I still think he's a dominant receiver. Great body control. He has sticky hands. Can definitely can catch the football very well. And he does challenge his cornerbacks to tackle him. He's kind of hard to tackle. He could give you those good yardage after contact. And I think he'll become a dominant receiver. Hopefully on his pro day, he will perform a lot better. I believe because of that 12 reps at 225 pounds bench press, I that kind of that kind of me, got me skeptical and be, had me starting to doubt him a little bit. And he knew himself that he could he should have performed better than that. He just I think he had a bad day. Hopefully on that pro day workout he will perform a lot better and increase a, a lot of people's hopes and expectations about Mike Evans. I still think he can become a good dominant receiver, but he needs to get that mindset right and have better work ethic and show why he could be a dominant receiver and not depend just on his size but also his skill overall and I think because of that speed burst coming off the line of scrimmage he needs to work on that because he needs to get that initial quick um, um, front line on um, speed off the off the back coming off the snap. I just see really that's the main thing he needs to work on. But he's a good reliable receiver, and I just think he could be a lot better instead of a, instead of a physical receiver. He could be more of a quick nifty receiver as well, just like Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson is a big time receiver. He he has the size, but he also can create separation, which is key. And I think that Mike Evans can do the same thing. He just needs to work on it just a little bit more. Now, the next time I'm gonna catch you guys is on Monday. Day where I will continue with all my all of my scout reports as well as my top five players for each position headed towards this year's draft. Thank you for watching today's blogs from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man Keen McCall. Be easy.